Oh, what's going on there, YouTube? It's your boy, McBake, and today, welcome to my crib. There we go. That worked. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, so this is the garage. I know I just posted a project video on my channel and I got a couple other projects videos going on um, but there will be some tools and everything in there as well I just kind of got that wild here and want to start working on my car so people are asking about what my home setup is like as you can imagine I mean it's very bare bones compared to at the garage but I'll let you guys scope it out we'll go ahead and start right over on this wall um, nothing too fancy yard equipment but up here is what we like to call the Soul Train. This is actually a Huffy tandem bike that my father and I restored when I was about 12 years old. It has a really cool story along with it. Um, it was busted, so we restored it when I was 12. Um, after I moved out, my parents actually sold it to some woman in town where I grew up. And then just earlier this year, actually, it went up for sale. She wanted to get rid of it. My parents knew they got a hold of me and I got it back. So yeah, about, man, 18 years after me and my father restored it. I mean, you can't tell, but it has purple color changing paint. You kind of see the chain guard up there, if you can read that. It was the soul train. So yeah, I restored it with my dad. 18 years later, bought it back. Now it hangs in my garage. Dad, I ever get rid of it. Go ahead and work our way down on over to this shelf. This is kind of the uh, car shelf, detailing stuff like that. So, you know, all my jumper cables. You've, of course, seen me use that for tinting windows. There's touch up paint pens. E Raptor, got a video with them coming up. And down here is all my different spray cans, the Plasti Dip, um, just black, silver, gray. And then the car detailing shelf. Got your armor all, the tire foam, polish and wax back there. Uh, wash bucket, and then this bag that's just full of my ratchet straps. So nothing too crazy. Shop vac for detailing out the interior. Pair of steering wheel cover that came out of a car, some extra wiper blades. But then this cabinet, this is kind of all my yard equipment. So we'll just peek in here, see what's actually in here. Some dog chains. Some bulls, this is all motion lights that just haven't gotten hung up. Trimmer, uh, leaf blower. This is stuff that I don't want my dog to get into, so I keep it high up, just different chemicals. Some spray adhesive, some goo gone, carpet cleaner, things of that nature. Dad's garage. What happens in the garage stays in the garage. Then down here, I got my lawn mower, uh, handles off because obviously it's winter. And so I got my snow blower out, ready to go for the season. Um, this panel is for the gas heater that I have in the garage. Um, that was actually here when I bought the garage, the Resnor gas heater. Super nice. Not on today because honestly, the weather's not that hateful. So we're gonna pop that off. But now we're getting on to the workbench big solid workbench again that was here when I moved in um, I actually redid most of this garage it wasn't insulated it was just the stud showing I put all this very nice OSB board up um, maybe I can show some older pictures of what it looked like when I actually seen the house so let's take a look at those But yeah, this is what it looks like now. However, the workbench I did want to keep because it was just really nicely built. Um, built power into it. So, you know, got a little shop light, power strip up top. Um, this is the light that came with my Husky box that's at work, that is at home now. My snowblower battery, my leaf blower, DeWalt tools. That's what I have at the house. 
then leaf blower battery, my NOCO jump pack, and then some batteries. Red cap means it's fully charged. I'm we'll actually set you guys down here. And we'll show you my NOCO pack. This is just the small one, the GB40. It is a nice little pack, I mean, for any cars that I need to jump. And then this is kind of just miscellaneous. Um, some screws, some different specialty drill bits, some good drill bits. Well, the X, that's broken and stuff. This is my good case. Uh, stud finder, roll of toilet paper. And here's different wires, different hinges. This is more automotive stuff. Um, old key fob. Just some different bits and bobs that are for cars. My dad mug, my pencils, the pencil sharpener. And down here is just, of course, all screws, nails, things of that nature. Up top, nothing too crazy. Just some overflow, random stuff. Some buckets, some old light fixtures I put in. That's my tarps cabinet. And then those are just tool boxes and tool bags that I don't use. Got my outdoor waterproof speakers, Bluetooth that I use out in the garage. Of course, you gotta have a, va a vice. And then mounted desk light right above it. That doesn't want to turn on. Oh, it's unplugged. So, you know, when working on things in the vice, you can have it lit up. Got yeah, my jigs all out right now for a project that's coming up soon that you guys are going to be super into. It's not a project on my car. It's a project on my toolbox. Stay tuned. I'm super stoked. This locking cabinet, this is where I keep any chemicals. When I'm going to do an oil change, I'll keep the oil in here. Basically a locking cabinet for, for sorry, locking cabinet for chemicals just to keep my daughter out of it. Those are my clean shop rags. Got my dirty shop rag bin. Painting supplies. Some different leaf bags. If I'm going anywhere, I keep this one really nice tool bag down here. Um, actually, it should go to work since none of my tools are here. Some more overflow, just different things. This drawer, got some toolbox liner left over, tape measures, masks gloves stuff like that and let's see tapes some more tv some zip ties basically things that stick things together hot glue and another watch charger that's hiding in there next one down is ear tools air chuck air gun some extra airline and then i don't know what's in this oh materials so yeah car material some more toolbox liner there's some black vinyl in there there's some cds just materials and there's my air compressor. When I bought the house, they had an estate auction. And this air compressor was in the garage from the original owner. And I think I got that at the auction for about $95. 24, 25 gallon Craftsman air compressor. Super nice. So let's see. Some speaker grills for my past cars that I took out. I always like the look of speaker grills on subwoofers. And then I would shave the emblem and put them on the speaker grill. So that was from an 09 Cadillac CTS I owned. And my 2010 Jeep Commander that I owned. And then this cabinet, let's see, nothing in there. But in here, is, it's all my power tools. It's my DeWalt Sawzall, circular saw, light, impact, and drill. I got a, another circular saw, heat gun. That's actually brand new seats for the tandem bike. I haven't put on paint sprayer, pneumatic nail gun, and then the box to my jigsaw. Oh, let me grab this. Because as you may see, the one fluorescent light in the most important corner is out. I was going to get it replaced, but I'm actually just going to wait until I can redo it all in LED. All right, so I'm back. I actually wheeled my little baby toolbox out here for some better lighting. So we can take a look at what's inside. Like I said, nothing too crazy. You guys know my tools are all at work and I am just starting. So I haven't collected anything. I'm sure you guys have doubles and triples stuff at home. Um, but yeah, check it out what I use. I got a Blue Hawk 3 8 or I'm sorry, half inch. Then a generic, I have no idea where it came from. 
three eighths. Here at home, I do have the Pittsburgh half inch torque wrench. Cause you know, I do rotate tires and take tires off here at home. So, I mean, you have to have something. And then I think again, these are all Husky sockets. I basically just have shallow half inch metric and I have shallow three eighths metric and standard, shallow quarter inch metric and standard and some few extensions. Next door down, wrenches, some vice grips and Allen wrenches. And then the screwdriver drawer. This is really just kind of a catch all of any kind of screwdrivers that have been laying around. Some of my finer small screwdrivers. And then, you know, your main ones. These are all Pittsburgh. Used to be at work, but I have upgraded to some Matco screwdrivers. Look out for those on my next toolbox update at work. Next one down, razor blade knives, electrical, a couple of my old test lights, wire strippers, um, some flat snips that are beat to crap. Some flush cuts, sorry. They're just beat to all the jeepers. And then strippers that were at work, but I've replaced those with much better items. Again, you'll see those. And that's just filled with fuses, stuff like that. Here's my catch all so far, nothing too crazy. Some hacksaws, lighter, magnet, little drill, staple gun, crowbar. And then some overflow sockets and an OBD2 reader. That was given to me from Rust Belt Mechanic. I should probably just give that back to him since it's at home. But no, I brought it here to scan my Lancer and then it never found its way back. Oh, and then the last little compartment. Obviously I don't have a lift here, so Jack and Jack stands. It does the job though. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Got my daughter's bikes hanging up there. A little platform I made for my Jack. That Jack doesn't lift my wife's Cherokee up worth the squat. So I actually put the Jack on top of that. Give some more heights. Extension cords, saw horses. This is a piece of high density plastic. And this is what I'm using the jigsaw on. Like I said, I have a very cool project coming up shortly for the toolbox that I think you guys are all going to dig. It's just taken me a while to do research, find exactly what I need to make this work. But I think I have a plan figured out and it's going to be great. And then a big sell that made us really want this house and this garage. Not only is it a nice, good size two car garage with a nice work area, the gas heater installed, all the power, but plumbing. I've washed cars in here and just squeezed it over to the drain. A garage with heat and plumbing. What can a guy ask for more? And so that is about it, guys. Now, if there's any projects that I do at home, you know exactly what I have here and what I'm working with. So, hey, I really hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Stick around for more toolbox updates at work as well as I'll update here if anything happens. A few projects here and there. I got a couple more car projects coming your guys' way. I know you don't like them that much. You'd rather see tools, but seriously, stick around because what I have planned for that Husky 80 inch toolbox is going to blow you guys away. And I'm so excited to get it out there. So until next time, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think of the garage. Um, maybe you're looking to do some organization or updating to your garage, something like that. I know before I put the O, um, OSB on the walls, I was looking up all different kind of wall coverings, whether I should go drywall or um, like wood paneling. And so maybe you're just checking out what OSB looks like on garages. And there it is. So hey guys, thanks again for watching. Stick around, hit that bell notification so you know when videos come out. And I will see you next time. I'm McBake, and I'm out.